Hi Scorpio, welcome to your February 2016 General Taroscope. It's Rena here. So I was trying to get like a handle on what is the most active area of your life right now. And we have the sun starting the month in the fourth house. I would say it's the fourth house of home and family because the sun starts out the month there. You have the new moon in this house on the 8th of February. So that's a new beginning in the family sector. It could be with your home. Maybe you've moved and you're setting up shop in your new home or you have closed on a house. You have Mercury going into your home and family sector on the 13th of the month. And this is the house that Mercury went retrograde at one degree of Aquarius. So now it's going, now it's going direct. So it went direct on the 25th of January and then it gained degrees in Capricorn and now it's at zero degrees on the 13th. On the 15th, we will be able to say that Mercury is out of its shadow and it has reached the degree it was at when it retrograded. So then your life will really seem like it's moving forward. Venus starts the month in the third house of communications which include the internet, especially nowadays. Most people aren't using snail mail to deliver messages as much as they are the internet. And so with Venus in the third house, you may have met somebody online or communicated with somebody, reunited with somebody on Facebook because Mercury was retrograding in that house. So that with Venus there and Mercury there, there might have been some kind of electronic hookup. So then Venus goes into your fourth house on the 16th of February, and this is very good for relationships with your parents or with any home matters that need tending to. There is a sense of wanting to beautify your home, and it can bring money in connection with your home. Mars will be in your first house all month in the sign of Scorpio, so just be careful when you're trying to sell yourself to other people that you don't go overboard. It is a good time for PR on yourself, selling yourself to clients, selling yourself to bosses, whatever you're trying to do, even selling yourself to another person. <laughs> I don't mean literally. Um, Jupiter is in that 11th house of friendships, of groups, so it's bringing blessings, expansion in this in this sector. And so this can mean that your friends will somehow be lucky for you until September. And so if you have that going on, take advantage of that. Interestingly, we do have a full moon in this house on the 22nd of February. So Sometimes this can mean endings, and this can mean ending with a friendship or a group, but maybe there's just some kind of culmination of a project you might have been involved with that just so happens to involve a group. Maybe you were campaigning for somebody for political reasons, and your primary is coming up if you're in America, and you're done with that campaign. I don't know. I'm just going through all the possibilities. Saturn is in your second house of earned income. So with Saturn there, some people might say, oh, my God, you know, this is going to mean restrictions in my income. No, not at all. It can mean that you are able to ground your finances. You're, you're able to organize them. You're able to create a a, a budget that really works for you and not use the word budget as a limitation, but as something to actually achieve long-term goals. And uh, Saturn will be in this house until 2017. So you have a real opportunity for laying a foundation that will last much longer than that. And, you know, the second house is an earth house, just like, the 10th house that Saturn rules is Capricorn's house. The second house is Taurus's natural house. So this is a compatible energy for Saturn, I believe, overall. 
And so let's talk about some of the cards I've picked for you. The card I picked for you, Scorpio, to describe your current state of affairs in February is the Knight of Wands. So this is kind of like the energy of a soldier. And, you know, one of your rulers is Mars. And um, Mars rules the fire sign Aries as well. The, the wands relate to fire signs. So this is an energy of somebody who is really on a mission. And what that mission is will depend on the individual. Obviously, this is a general reading, including the astrological aspects. If I were to pull up your chart in a private reading, your son may be in a totally different house. This is using your exact time of birth, what I'm talking about. And all of these transits that I'm describing might be in different places. So that's why it's important to look at these readings as general and may apply to, may not apply to. Sometimes I get comments from viewers who say, oh my God, everything is exactly what's happening with me. But that's not always going to be the case. So this may relate to your career because the reason I got for you having this kind of warrior energy was the Ace of Pentacles. And so it may be that you got a job offer and you kind of have to put on your armor because maybe it's something that is going to be quite difficult to undergo. Maybe it's something that's going to be a challenging position that you're taking. And yet you're doing it maybe for the money or you're doing it for how it looks on your resume. For other people, this may relate to a relationship. Maybe you have some kind of beginning with an earth sign individual, which the pentacles would represent. And possibly you feel this sense of energy and kind of um, devil may care attitude that isn't necessarily how you always feel, Scorpio, because sometimes you can be like a lot of water signs and Maybe you're a little bit cautious or suspicious of other people's motives. And this just indicates more of a freewheeling and enthusiastic nature. The higher message is a higher fant. And this suggests to me that you're really in a philosophical mood these days for whatever reason. Now, why would this be? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but it could have something to do with a past relationship that may have ended in a way that was not how you had wanted it to. And it has given you some spiritual growth that has made you rethink certain things in your life. It could have to do with your career. If some of you have lost your jobs, you may have wondered why you dedicated yourself to something that ended up as you being on the chopping block. Or in the case of if this Ace of Pentacles is a job offer or some money offer, it could be a loan for a business that you want to start. It could be something along those lines that you're doing on your own. But whatever is going on with this, offer of money or this gift of money, you still have this sense that there's more to life than the mundane monetary rewards of the world, you know, or even of relationships, that there's something that kind of transcends those issues and makes you feel like you want something more out of life. The advice is the two of wands. Now, the Two of Wands is a card of personal power. And in this reading, I believe that it means that you are to take a risk if it's something that's even part of your reality right now. So, in other words, if you have a job offer and it will 
cause you to have to uproot your life and do things. And you might be adverse to change, being a fixed sign, and you might be afraid of the unknown. This is a card that's saying that you have to take a risk. And this is a person in my Morgan Greer deck, and I believe it's similar to the Rider White deck, that is looking through the two wands. The wands are like a portal. And this person is looking through and seeing the horizon, seeing what lies ahead of him. And so it's a card of expansion. And it's a card of you calling the shots instead of taking orders. So some of you, it might be that this Ace of Pentacles relates to a new business that you're starting. And that's why it's an Ace. It's a beginning. And maybe you've gotten backing, financial backing finally, or some gift from the universe that you didn't expect that's allowing you to do this. And yet maybe there's a part of you that is wondering, is this viable? Should I even think about it? Especially if it's something that will require you to have to quit your day job. And of course, I'm not here to encourage people to do things that are completely risky, completely without any kind of guarantee of working out. That's something that I leave to you as a thinking adult to decide. I'm just interpreting the cards and saying that sometimes you do have to take risks in life. And if you really think that there's only one path, then you will lead a very narrow existence. If you believe that the universe has your back, that if you jump and that will appear, then maybe things will happen that way. I can't really guarantee that things will turn out one way over the other, but in terms of this card, it's about having an expansive view and a desire for personal power so that you can be the captain of your own ship. What crosses you is the Page of Pentacles, now, this can actually relate to a child that is in your life, and especially if the child is an earth sign or has a lot of earth in their chart. So this may be an obstacle in some area for those of you that have a child. Like if you, let's say you're trying to start a business and you have a child and you feel like, oh, I have to take care of my child and make sure that I'm not doing anything too risky, and that kind of cast doubt on you and makes you not want to pursue this, whatever this thing is, it could also relate to a message that you receive about money that creates some sense of you not being able to proceed. Now, this is a very positive card, especially in the upright position. So maybe it's like two offers. And um, sometimes pages can relate to students. So maybe you are torn between going back to school and getting more education and starting your own business or something like that. So it could be like two different paths to take, depending on which Scorpio you are. But the outcome is the Four of Wands. And this is like having your house in order. This could be marriage. This could be buying a new home, and I think I spoke about that with your new moon in the fourth house. There's a lot of energy for home for you in February, so this may have something to do with that. But it's a very positive card overall because it indicates that there may be some reason for celebration. There may be some success that is being recognized and it's um it's a card that is all about accomplishing something and um feeling like you're letting go of limitations that you had there may be a pleasant surprise that comes about there's a feeling of freedom really with this card too so it can herald a new period for you in happiness and a sense of possibilities. And so Scorpio, I'm very happy to deliver this message to you. I wish you all the best in February. Take care of yourself. Bye.